The Star Mat is one of the most clinically used equipment in the clinic for me. And the, in the past eight years that it's been distributed across Canada and internationally, I've had extremely positive feedback on it. The Star Mat has 12 clock numbers on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. And you can do this series of and unlimited number of exercises on it. The simplest exercise I begin with is called clock steps. So you stand there, step to one o'clock and come back to the center. Step to two o'clock, come back to center. Step to three o'clock, come back to center. Four o'clock, five o'clock and six o'clock. I particularly give this to anyone at risk of fall, especially the elderly, just so they learn step to 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock and counterclockwise with the other leg and so forth. Why do I do this? because I tell them when people fall, it's because they weren't able to use their leg to catch themselves. And by doing these exercises every day, they're teaching their body that their legs can move in different directions. I generally do every exercise once with eyes open and once with eyes closed, the same direction. Now, this is for the elderly population or those at risk of falls. For the younger population, I progress to lunges where the leg goes to one o'clock and come back go to two o'clock and come back and three o'clock and so forth. But I can do half the circle, but then I progress to the full circle where you go to seven o'clock, eight o'clock and nine o'clock. You go from the front and then 10 o'clock and you go to 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Why? Because if they have to participate in say in sport like tennis, you don't just do lunges in perfect line. You play tennis by going in these multiple directions. And this is the best way to simulate it. You do it once with eyes open and once eyes closed. Once right leg and once left leg. And always go through the whole clock pattern, especially the nine o'clock pattern where you're crisscrossing. Even then what I do is we can do lunch hops. Lunch hops meaning I start from the center and I lunge to one o'clock, hop there and hop back. Why? Because whether you're playing soccer, tennis, this has got to simulate these movements, especially when you get to the crisscross stuff. And the best way to prevent injuries is to simulate the sport as, as closely as possible that you are going to be participating in. It doesn't matter whether it's back injury, hip injury, knee pain, or ankle pain. When you want to train more functional stuff or cardiovascular stuff, I do small jumps. Small jumps is you go to one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. That's called quick short jumps. And it's great for those with Achilles tendinopathies who fear jumping. I simply ask them, how does it feel right now? They say it's the same. I said, that's great. You just did 12 jumps. Then have them close their eyes and repeat it counterclockwise. One o'clock, two o'clock, and so on and so forth. And I ask him, how does it feel? The progression of that is to do long jumps, but slow. And this is an amazing quads workout for eccentric retraining. So you jump to one o'clock and you catch yourself and you come back. You jump to two o'clock and you catch yourself and you come back and so on and so forth. Once eyes open and once eyes closed. Now, in conclusion, there's a number of exercises that can be done with a clock exercise. But the original reason for this was to test balance. It's the anterior excursion test and the posterior lateral excursion test that we'll be described in a later video. But in the meantime, the best dynamic balance exercises, you stand here, you reach for one o'clock and you come back to center again. You reach for two o'clock and you come back to center and so on and so forth, the entire clock and you compare how many times they have to put the foot down on the right side compared to the left side. If you're interested in the star mat, you can simply visit aptide.ca. Clock steps, lunges, plus or minus rotations, where you lunge in the 12 directions, first in neutral, then lunge, simultaneous rotation, ipsilateral, then repeat simultaneous rotation, contralateral. This is to maximize hip, medial, and lateral rotation, eccentric control, and mobility. Clock lunge hops. This is especially important in those who are involved in sports or activities that involve explosive power, whether it's running, basketball, tennis, squash. Clock excursion reaches. Anybody with limited hip abduction strength or a Trendelenburg compensator or uncompensated 
should be prescribed these clock excursion reaches.